What's up folks, Jeff here. Haven't made a video in a long time, but today I'm going to take you through my 100% complete vintage Star Wars figure collection. So, alright, here we are in my office. I got a couple cool uh, Star Wars posters on the closet doors there. The door is open and the all-important door stopper is there and it's important because it stops the door from hitting my hidden Star Wars figure collection case, which is back here. It's um, eight shelves of 12 figures each, which works out nicely to get this complete 96 figure collection. And um, I'll talk about what I mean by complete. You know, complete is cer certainly something that's kind of up for debate or it's based off of how different collectors would define it. But for me, I'm looking for the 96 core figures that came on the cards in the stores like this one. And I keep one example of a carded figure on top here, probably my favorite figure, Darth Vader. This one was signed by the uh, actor that played Darth Vader, Dave Prowse. He's actually, he's not shy about giving out his signature. Um, but I keep this one example. I got this one at Comic Con when I was probably 14, um, and, which was a long time ago. So this is the set of figures. So by complete, I'm looking for, like I said, these 96 figures. I'm not looking for anything that came in a play set um, like Jabba the Hutt or the Max Rebo Band. I'm not looking for any error type figures like uh, the Blue Snaggletooth, which is a highly sought after figure that uh, probably never should have been released. Um, it was kind of made by mistake. I'm not looking for variants. I mean, you could collect every figure that came from every different factory and had slightly different colors of paint and different things like that. I just want one good example of every figure. And incidentally, the vast, vast majority of these are mine from when I was a little kid and got them when they were first out and uh, are very much played with figures. So I'm just going to go through them all really quick and say what each one is. I know just about all of the names. So these top four, pretty interesting things. So the first four are part of this famous story of Kenner not being able to get the figures out by Christmas 1977 and actually saying that they were going to release an empty box you could put under your Christmas tree with a certificate to mail in to get these first four figures and it had a stand and a backdrop and some stuff like that but certainly a risk in terms of marketing they delivered sold a bunch of them sent the figures out by the next february and kids were all happy so it was luke skywalker princess leia r2d2 and chewbacca then they released the next sort of wave of figures to complete the run of the first 12 star wars figures which were c3po Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Han Solo, this is the big head version. There's one that came with a small head. Jawa, you can get a very rare version with a vinyl cape. This is the common material cape version. Sand People and Death Squad Commander. Um, after that, in uh, 1978, they released a second round of Star Wars figures, another eight to make it 20 total. Greedo, Hammerhead, Walrus Man, and Snaggletooth. Uh, Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing outfit, R5-D4, Death Star Droid, and Power Droid. Then in 1979, uh, they released Boba Fett. I think it was part of like a mail-in offer, and it was originally going to have a firing backpack, which is, uh, because of safety reasons, was changed to just a, um, a, a, a sealed-in missile on his back. Uh, so that came out in 79, sort of to promote Empire Strikes Back. Then they moved on to the core Empire Strikes Back figures, which were released over a series of waves. So uh, Princess Leia in her Bespin outfit, FX-7, Hoth Stormtrooper. This is, I believe, Rebel um, Hoth Rebel Trooper. This guy's name is Bosk, IG-88, Luke Skywalker in his Bespin fatigues, Han Solo in his Hoth outfit, Lando Calrissian. Um, the white version of the Bespin security guard, Yoda, Ugnaught, Dengar, Han Solo in his Bespin outfit, um, Lobot, Princess Leia in her Hoth outfit, this guy's name I believe is Rebel Commander, this is Adat Driver, this is Imperial Commander, this is 2-1-B, and I think right here we started the last wave of Empire figures that came out in, uh, probably like 82. This was uh, R2-D2 with sensor scope, C-3PO with removable limbs, uh, Luke Skywalker Hoth outfit, AT-AT driver, uh, cloud car pilot, and Bespin security guard, guard the black version. This was Forlom, 
and over here is Zuckus. And those two guys, actually, there was some confusion. They were going to have their names reversed, and they maybe should have been reversed, but that's how the figures were named. Last Empire figure, TIE Fighter Pilot. So then we had several rounds of Return of the Jedi figures released in 1983 and 84. So this was my very first figure I ever got for whatever reason was Admiral Ackbar. Probably the least exciting figure, but probably had the coolest uh, line in all the movies. And you might know what that was. Um, but uh, got this figure after playing with Star Wars figures with my buddy Curtis from when I was a kid who had a bunch of these figures and really got me into it. Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight. Leia in Bush disguise, Gamory and Guard. I really wanted this figure, and for what, for whatever reason, we couldn't find it. My mom, bless her heart, would like drive to Toys R Us even when I wasn't with her and look for this figure, and she eventually found it and brought it to me. And I actually still have one on the card from that day because she bought two. Um, this is uh, Emperor's Royal Guard. This is um, these Ewoks are tough. This one was Chief Chirpa, Low Gray. This guy's name is Klaatu. This is, I believe, Rebel Commando. This is Weakway. Um, Squidhead, General Maydean, Bib Fortuna, Reyes, Biker Scout, Lando Calrissian in uh, Skiff Guard disguise, Nine Num, uh, Nikto, 8D8, uh, Leia in Combat Poncho. This, of course, is Wicket. This is the Emperor. And then over here is. Um, this is B-Wing Pilot. That's Klaatu again in a skiff guard outfit, Han Solo in trench coat. Um, this guy's name, I believe, is Tebow. This is Pruneface, and he was a rebel commander. He is not part of Jabba's uh, palace, as most folks think. This is Adat Driver. No, excuse me, ATST Driver, Rancor Keeper. Um, and that represents kind of the, the core Return of the Jedi figures. And then we move on to what's considered the last 17. These are actually the rarest figures um, for sort of a sad reason. They were just coming out as interest in the collection was totally waning. Folks just weren't into it. And so not, not many of these were sold, and they're pretty hard to find now. So a couple of Ewoks. This is Lumat and Paplu. Luke Skywalker in his uh, Endor outfit. Um, this is uh, R2-D2 with his um, retractable lightsaber. This guy is Ramba, I believe. This huge figure is Amana Man. This is Barada. Um, this one is Imperial Gunner. Han Solo in Carbonite. Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper disguise. Anakin Skywalker. This is EV-99, the tallest figure, but he does make it into this case. Um, this guy's name, I think, I want to say is Weakway, potentially. It's hard, hard for me to remember all these Ewoks. Um, General Calrissian, or Orlando Calrissian in his general outfit. This is B-Wing Pilot. This is Imperial Dignitary. And the last but not least figure is Yak Face, the rarest figure, uh, because he was never released in the United States. So there you go, folks. That's my collection the case um, is actually a gi joe case that i found online it's actually two of them they have magnetic doors that open up and it keeps them uh, sealed in and i like it because it's narrow enough to fit behind the door and sort of keep kind of stealth so there you go thanks for watching folks